Hey guys, Zot here with another walkthrough. This time we're going to be taking a look at how Hydra asserts dominance as a disciplined priest in 2v2, playing extremely offensive and doing what dis priests do best. For this game, it's going to be Discipline Assassination Rogue up against Unholy Death Knight Restoration Druid. For this game, Hydra is playing full offense, opting for these talents. So we're going to be running Schism for the damage during setups, Masochism for the damage reduction as Kitan a Death Knight isn't really possible, Solace for the synergy with Schism and extra damage, Psychic Voice for the shorter fears, Sins of the Many for the damage, and of course both Purge the Wicked and Lenience. As for PvP talents, Hydra is opting to take Dome of Light to counter the offensive cooldowns coming out of the Death Knight, Dark Archangel to be super aggressive inside of his rogue's kidney shots, and Ultimate Radiance, as mana isn't going to be an issue, as Hydra is looking to win this one quickly. Alright, enough of that, let's get straight into the game. As mentioned, Hydra is going to be displaying the strengths of Discipline Priest, and how, when played correctly, your offensive play is unrivaled by any healer. Straight from the gates, Hydra and his rogue are looking to go on the Restoration Druid, as they've managed to find him in stealth. So they can get an insane opener, Hydra fears the Death Knight, whilst his rogue cheap shots the Druid, so he's unable to dispel. So essentially, they are in a 2v1 onto a stun target. Hydra gives both himself and his rogue atonement and then Dark Archangels, and proceeds to burst, popping his unused trinket with a schism into penance into solace, then lastly putting up his Shadow Fiend onto the Druid, forcing both his Bark Skin and Trinket in the opener. Now, take a look at his damage meter. They forced both these defensive cooldowns from the Druid for two reasons. Firstly, was that Hydra feared the Death Knight during the setup. This means he's unable to peel the setup, so Hydra can freely cast, as well as his Rogue has no chance of being peeled. And secondly, is because of the sheer amount of damage Hydra has done here. He's managed to do more damage to the Druid in the opener than his Assassination Rogue. What Hydra does next is just more testament to Hydra's aggressive nature as a Discipline Priest. Once the Death Knight comes out of the fear, he immediately looks to peel, gripping Hydra's Rogue away from the Druid. What does Hydra do? Well, he instantly grips him back. This may just seem like a something minor, but this allows his Rogue to maintain uptime. If the Rogue stepped back here, then he would have had no gap closer left and if the Druid wild charges away or dashes, he's going to have no chance at maintaining uptime, resulting in Hydra and his Rogue losing all momentum. Hydra and his Rogue keep up the pressure onto the Druid. Now that he's out of stuns, Hydra continues to help out with damage, using Penance offensively and then when the Druid starts to look to heal, Hydra purges his Soul of the Forest and his fawns and lastly his rejuvenation, meaning this druid is getting zero healing whilst his rogue is able to maintain uptime. With stun diminishing returns off soon and the druid being forced to use both his trinket and bark skin in the opener, it's not looking good for him. Hydra then pops his other unused trinket, casts a schism, smite and penance and the Druid's finished, with a fear on the Death Knight for good measure. Now just quickly glance at his damage meter. Hydra is basically a DPS. He's managed to play so aggressive this game that he's not even had to do any healing outside of his atonement. Playing disc like this is how you want to always aim to play, being super aggressive and looking to end games first while utilizing your offensive capabilities. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this quick disc priest walkthrough. Thanks for watching and be sure to plus skill if you enjoyed.